Deepak Chopra says, God writes the books, I collect the royalties. That's how I live my life, too. I call it living from spirit. Hi, I'm Reverend Ali Bierman. Thank you so much for coming by today to join us for today's gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. A metaphysical ministry is all about the fact that the world that's out there that exists, well, what we can witness using only our five senses is an itsy bitsy teeny weeny part of it. In fact, less than 1% of all that is. So by understanding how reality is created, how we create our reality, and the so-called physical world that's out there, well, that's what metaphysicians do. We help you to understand that, and that's why we're here in this ministry, educating you, answering your questions. you got to ask the questions if there's something you don't understand. We begin every week with a happy share, and my happy share is listen to my voice. It's pretty close to normal. My voice has been normal a couple times this week. That means somehow I'm healing. Somehow the nerves that are paralyzed must be working. I'm not aware, and yet you hear my voice. And it's coming out a whole lot easier with a whole lot less having to figure out how to support my voice with my breath. So, going back to living from spirit. All of my adult life I've been aware of, and actually even before that, if I want to write a song, if I want to do a painting, if I want to write a book, if I want to design a sculpture or jewelry, or even design and build furniture, I have to think about it. I just do it. I tell the universe what it is I want to create, and all of a sudden, I'm moved to do it. See, I can't sit down at a blank canvas and paint something unless I'm in the mood. And what in the mood is, is tuned in to spirit. See, everything there is to know in the world exists up there in the oversoul, in the superconsciousness. Whatever word you want to use for it, everything, past, present, future, it's up there. And when you tune into your spirit, that's the part that tunes in to that universal knowing. So you don't have to work out and figure out things. You just have to be open, know how to communicate with your spirit so you hear, see, so feel, get all the messages coming to you, and so you know how to ask for what you want and recognize the responses that you get. So when I'm doing any kind of creating, I just sit down and out it comes. I want to write a book, I sit down at the computer and I type, 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 and it's there. I'm not thinking about it. It's just there. I do my subliminal paintings that way. I compose my music that way. And if there's something special on the topic I want to create, I'll ask the universe, but I don't just do it for my creations, and I know those are all gifts, because my creations allow me to reach you in whatever media makes sense for you. Whether you like to hear a song, or just hear an audio, whether you want to read, whether the art works for you, whatever it is that works for you, I can do it, because the universe gave me those gifts. And yes, thank you. <laughs> it also gave me these major health challenges so that I could learn, grow through them, because a challenge has no point unless I use it to grow through. It all goes together now, doesn't it? The challenge, the different ways while growing through, I can express and share it so you can also grow through whatever's bothering you. But there's nothing unique or special or different about me. You have the same abilities. All you need to do is discover how 
to discover who you are, your spirit, and what that means. And just to throw something at you to think about, to begin to get an idea. For over a period of a few years, I met different people, they didn't know each other, didn't happen all at the same time. Someone would come up to me who I'd never met and say, your name isn't Alice, which is the name that I went by before all the brain injuries changed me. It was my given name. Three different people said that to me. And I said, what in the heck are they talking about? What does that mean? And what they were telling me was, that's not the name of my spirit. That's not the name of the immortal part of me, my soul, that lives lifetime to lifetime, eternally. So if you want to discover how to find who you really are, your spirit, the immortal part of you, your true self, your core, let me know. We'll work together on that. Now, if you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold a Space For. So if there's something in your world, you'd like it to be a reality, but it isn't right now, put your name and whatever it is you want up there. Actually, put it down there in the comment area. I'll put it up there on the page. Come back at least once a week. Read each name and what people request. Tell your friends and your family to do so also. Because the more people who are putting out this message, this I call it a thought form because it's a very real energy. Thoughts are real, measurable energy. But it gets bigger and bigger if more and more people participate in it. Be careful what you think about, and be careful whose thought form you buy into. Now, if you haven't done so already, go on over there for your name and email. I will gift you with a copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. Again, I thank you so much for joining us here today. Let me know any questions you have. Let me know if you want to explore what I mean by living from spirit. You know, here's a very concrete example if you're not an artist, a writer. When I go shopping, I tell the universe what I want to buy. Pretty much everything on my item list is for sale. It might be a one-time sale, it might be only in the store I'm going into. And the other thing I do is I ask, should I go to that store today? Is there something there for me? Do the same thing when I go to the library. Is there something there for me? Show me where. You don't have to guess. Life's not a guessing game when you tune in to spirit. I wish you a wonderful week filled with the blessings of understanding who you really are and how to have a two-way communication with your spirit.